Sports. Now, the five Konongo Odumasa senior high school students who were arrested for allegedly stabbing a Form 1 student leading to his death have been remanded in police custody. Now, they're expected to reappear in a week's time on the provisional charge of murder and abatement of crime. According to the Ghana Police Service, the suspects, who are Form 2 students of the said school, went on a bullying spree on the night of Friday, November 5, after prep hours leading to attack of the deceased Sumana Lahan. Now, the deceased, aged 17, was rushed to the Konongo Odumasa Government Hospital for treatment, but was pronounced dead on arrival. Lawyer for the first accused, Richard Edu Dako, spoke with Joy News. Accused persons in relation to the murder at Konongo Odumasa Syrian High School. They have been charged with the offense of murder. And as the constitution stipulates, it's quite unfortunate that um, children at this stage will commit such a heinous crime. But it is an alleged offense until it's proven by the court of competent jurisdiction. At this moment, we prayed for bail for them, but the court refused the bail application on grounds that they are still assisting in investigations. But having regard for the Juvenile Justice Act, are supposed to appear before the court in a week's time so a week from today they are coming to court on the 15th then the court will continue with their processes the court has referred the matter to the supervising high court in kumase to ensure that the right processes are followed because of their ages so that is what happened today we are coming back next week and then we'll take it from there where they are please taken no because this is a court that is not having jurisdiction of the matter. When it comes to murder, the only court that can have jurisdiction over it is the High Court. So they will go to the committal process from here, and then when they go to the High Court, their plea will be taken. Then the matter will continue. Have no, all of them been charged with murder? No, or? it's only the first accused. Because they are juveniles, we can't put their names out here. But it's only the first accused that has been charged with murder. The other accused persons, they have been charged with abetment of the crime. That is murder. So it means that next week they are not coming here, they are rather going to Kumasi. No, next week they are coming here. They will have to exhaust the committal proceedings here before they go to the High Court. So until the matter is transferred to the High Court, this is where they will be reporting to. And because the police is still investigating, they will go through the investigations and then when they are done and they, they are sure that, so this is like a provisional charge. When they are sure of the charge, they will go to the committal processes and then they go to the High Court and then their plea will be taken. Can you share with us the demeanor of the suspect when they appeared? Uh, or not really. I mean, when you go through such an experience, especially they being very young people, they are very remorseful. You could see from their faces and that of their parents. But it's unfortunate we, we have to go through this. Will their ages affect their trial in any way? Exactly. As I indicated, because they are two of them are 16 years and other three are 17. So they will not go through the normal process that anybody like an adult would go through. So you realize that the court even closed its doors to everybody, including even those users of the court, for them to stay out. So they cannot go through the normal process just like any other person because they are very young. Konongo Divisional Police Commander Chief Superintendent Shaibu Abubakar Sadiq Ose explained to pressmen reasons the hearing had to be done in camera. We, we brought the juvenile suspects and according to the Indian Act, we don't have to turn them as suspects. We brought them the juveniles to court as investigation is not completed. We came to seek to get them remanded so that we can continue with investigations. Uh, since we cannot keep them over and above the 14 hours per the constitutional mandate, so we got them to the court, juvenile court today, to get them remanded. So, God be so good, uh, the court granted our, 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 our request. And they've been remanded to reappear on the 15th, that's a week today. Uh, to court. Uh, meanwhile, the court has directed the registrar to send or forward all recordings and then uh, charge it to the supervising high court judge to direct the court to the next line of action. For juveniles, you cannot remand them by the Juvenile Justice Act. You cannot remand them over and above seven days. That's why we 
were remanded for only seven days. So if we are to be other or adults to have been about two years, they are in our custody will continue to investigations and then we will update the court as to where we have reached. We, we have within six months per the Juvenile Justice Act to finish trial. For that reason, we have put up an uh, investigation team because we don't want one person to do the investigation and slow down proceedings. So the command has added two other investigators, chief inspector and one inspector, to the original investigator to ensure that we, we are within the time frame. So uh, for now, that is the position of the police. Now let's take you live to the court where my colleague Erasta Sasari Donko joins us with the latest of that uh, story of the five Konongo uh, students who st allegedly stabbed one of their own. Erastus, what more can you report? Well, today uh, was court day for the uh, five suspects. Uh, remember that four others are uh, being treated as accomplices to the crime. And there is a main suspect who uh, has not been charged provisionally with murder. Uh, the others have been charged with uh, abetment of crime. Uh, today, um, the case was held in camera, and so they closed all the court windows, and then they uh, came through a back door into the courtroom and uh, for proceedings to start. And so we were briefed after uh, the court proceedings, and what we do know for now uh, is that they both, they've all been charged uh, with abetment of crime uh, provisionally, and the main suspect has been charged with uh, murder. Now they are going through the committal proceedings, which will start uh, next week when they come back to court. They've been remanded into police custody uh, to reappear a week today. Uh, the court judge has also ordered that all materials concerning the case be forwarded uh, to uh, a supervising high court judge in Kumase. Uh, so that they will uh, try the case uh, proper. All right, thank you so much. That is my colleague, Erasta Sasaridon, giving us an update of the Konongo Odumase SHS staff.